Alright, I am back for the next one. So, of course, the next one is the Glittering Caves. This one is pretty simple, similar to the Deepen Comb, except the side quests are even less, uh, less strategy involved with them, I would say. So we'll go ahead and start it, and I will get into the explanations when we get here. So, there are three waves with this one. The last one is always going to be in the same location. It's kind of in the central camp. The first two waves are in a random order, though. Sometimes you get the western side first, sometimes you get the eastern side first. And you can see Gambling has gone west. Gambling is east. Oh, the game crashed. I will edit this out, and I'll be back in a minute. Alright, I'm back. Of course, the game has to crash, because... Lotro really does like crashing for some reason. I don't know why. But first thing, of course the battle's already started, but I'm going to dismantle this barricade for later use. Um, and you can see it is on Gimli's front, which is on the eastern side. We can just follow that over there. Gimli himself and allies will not need any help with it. Um, so I'm not too worried. I'll just set that guy to two-handed while I'm here. So we will just run over here and get to Gimli. Gimli's front will have one of two side quests. We either have to defend against spiders, or we have to kill enemies before Gimli blows the tunnel. So that one's really easy. The spider one is a little bit more difficult. So for this battle, just focus on the... I'll set these guys to priority um, sappers. You want to watch out for the banners because they can actually kill the banners if you don't actually uh, look at them and repair them as needed. I have had them kill the banner before, so I don't want that to happen again. I don't think they will kill it in like these in Gimli or Gamling's defense positions, but they might. So, I'll just wait for this cooldown and do it again. Um, it's mostly the last wave where they might kill the banner. So just uh, periodically look at it is the main thing I'm trying to say. Um, so I'll show the side quests. So, and I believe... It is based off of which side you are defending first as to which side quest you get in that side. So, if we go to the Glittering Caves, the ones on Gimli's side are Cave-In, where you just have to basically kill enemies. They're very easy. The Spider Assault, on the other hand, is quite a bit more difficult. It's pretty difficult to get Platinum, because you have to do... You have to free Rohirrim, and you have to kill the spider assaults, and you have to, um, which I'll go ahead and put a banner, or a, um, a barricade here, and you have to kill the big boss at the end of the spider tunnel. So the spider one is the only real difficult one. It starts over here. I don't know if it's going to be the spider one. I think it's going to be the other one, because I haven't had the Gimli um, the Gimli starting one in a while. Um, so let's just keep an eye on the banners. I may go unmute and wait for the side quest to pop up, but I think it's going to pop up here any second now. This, uh, I will mention this epic battle is very, uh, waiting around AFK, not really doing much of anything. It's a very easy epic battle to beat. It, uh, even if you don't do the side quests, it's a very easy one to complete. Or especially if you don't do the side quests, I should say. But any second now, we should get the side quest to pop up. The enemy has there found a path around our defenses. Defend Gimli while he works to cave in so the So basically all you want to do is just, we'll set this guy to two-handed. And we'll go ahead and, oh, we can't upgrade these barricades. 
but pretty much all you want to do is just kill the enemies as they come in. It's it's very easy. It's probably the easiest side quest in in this uh, in this area or in this epic battle. I mean. You do want to look at the barricade and keep it repaired because there's two barricades that you don't want to get them to have um, health taken off, as you can see from here. Seems like they're pretty much only targeting the same barricade, so we'll just keep repairing it after every wave, I guess. The waves are spread out enough, even if you didn't have the repair thing, you should be able to repair most of it. Maybe not, I don't know. That wave happened pretty quickly. So we have, it doesn't say how many waves you have to kill, but once we get the troll brute, that's when the wave is done. Or finishing or whatever. We're up to silver now, so we're probably like halfway done, I guess. I don't know. And you do have a time limit, because you want to do it before Gimli is forced to cave in the entrance. The enemies spawn like over and over again, but I think they're timing based off of how quickly you kill the previous group, which is the reason why there's that time limit. But it's a very... It's a very, uh, it's a very lenient time limit, that's the word I was looking for. At least I think it is, it's already down to 130. Probably the last group coming up here next, I would guess. Yeah, there it is. So this one, you really want AFK or uh, AOE? I mean, and there we go. All That's enemies it. defeated before Gimli had to cause the cave-in. So we got platinum, as you can see, and now we can pretty much just wait. Um, although I think. I think that side is probably clear of enemies, and this side has a few more. So I'll go ahead and just do haste and damage and heal and stuff, why not? So like I said, you can't really <laughs> make these battles, or make this battle take any, uh, take any quicker, or go any quicker. Because you can't really clear out the enemies um, while they're marching up. You can see them marching from in the distance, but we pretty much just have to wait for our allies to kill them. You can't really do much outside of that. See, this one, this banner even got like almost halfway health, or half health. But your soldiers aren't really ever at risk of dying, so I wouldn't really worry about them very much. It's mostly just the banners that you have to focus on. So, usually there's one side that finishes much quicker than the other side. I'm not really sure why that's the case, but it is. So I'll just help these guys out a little bit since I'm here. Comes another wave. The other side is kind of easier to see where the enemies are coming. Alright, so once he says we'll soon have a break, that means that the other side will be needing assistance soon. And once you see Gimli, or whatever allies over here, start to run back to the middle. Uh, speaking of which, let me go ahead and get this ba uh, this barricade back. Because I want to use it at some point in the future. We'll 
pick it up. Well, I mean, Gimli should be going back soon. Any second now. Any second now. Alright, maybe not. Let me go back to the defenders over here. There's more enemies. Okay, here we go. So once gambling, or once the other person says, I need help on the other side, blah, blah, blah. Oh yeah, Gimli doesn't run back, that's right. But once that happens, you want to run back and go on the other side. You don't have any sort of time limit to get over there, I don't think. But I would still be quickly regardless. So this is where the last wave is going to come from, from that side. And the other wave is going to be on the other side, which I'll get there in a second. So where these two banners are, this is where the other wave is going to be. I'm just mentioning it while I'm passing through so that you have the... have the, uh, the knowledge or whatever. So once you get here, both of the side quests that spawn on this side will come right down the bridge here. So I'll go ahead and set this guy to two-handed. And then you also, I would recommend putting a barricade, like, around there. And we'll go ahead and upgrade the damage on it as well. And then... Even though the spikes are pointed the opposite direction, I think it still does damage well at like whenever they walk over it. So I don't think it matters which direction everything is pointed in. So once again, you just want to. I'll go ahead and set these guys to priority uh, the sappers again. Because why not? And then it'll be some time before the side quest pops up, so I'll go ahead and go on mute. Um, I'll go ahead and go on mute now, and then I'll come back once the side quest pops up, so I'll see you then.
Sapphires are attempting to destroy the barricades near the bridges. Assist right. gambling in protecting them. Here's the next side quest. So, like I said, both of them will basically just charge right down the middle. Um, so it really doesn't matter which one you get. It's, uh, both of them are pretty much the same. So I'll go ahead and target Sapphires again, I guess. Because that's the objective, but... Here they come. So I would walk out a little bit so that you can get a little bit of distance on them first. Or damage on them before they get closer. But not too far because I'm pretty sure you will start to take damage. Like really heavy damage over time which will pretty much kill you almost. If you're out there for any longer than a couple seconds. Here comes the next sappers. Sappers are trying to destroy all of your supplies and crystals and things. So, the soldiers aren't really ever at risk of dying here, so don't worry about that. But you definitely don't want the sappers to get any distance towards the supplies back there. You have another set of barricades behind this one that I'm that I planted so if you plant this one then you have a bit much bigger safety net. Defenses of hell and, and our barricades still stand. So I'll go ahead and dismantle this one for later use once again. And we will pick it up. There we go. And we'll just look uh, look at the banners real quick just to make sure they're still good on health. Oh, they look good to me, so I'll go ahead and go on mute, and I will see you in a couple minutes when we get to the next uh, section. So we see gambling running back there, so that basically means that we're just about done with these waves. I'll just look at the banners one more time. And once you see Aramis's voice, that means you want to run quickly. Archer's approach. So that basically means that if you don't get there quick enough, then you will be insta-killed basically. I'm gonna go ahead and put down this barricade right here. You have a decent amount of time, but you have about maybe I don't know what all that yelling was. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how long you have, but it's probably like a minute or something, I don't know. But I'm gonna go ahead and pick up this other barricade. Then I'm going to go down here to the other defense location. And this is where Gimli is going to be, of course. And I will put down a barricade right here. And once again, we will prioritize the sappers on the commander again. 
uh, not the sappers. And then I will do the same on the other group, which the other group wasn't there when I was there before, so they... I think they just spawn in as soon as the Amir voice stuff pops up. Here come the enemies. And let me just wait for the target priority. And this one, once again, we're just going to wait. I probably will run back here every now and then and just look at the banners, but I think they should be good with both of these, with both the barricade and the little uh, target priority thing. Um, but I will be back in a couple minutes when the next side quest pops up. See you then. Orc defilers are trying to All reach right. the civilians in the middle of the glittering caves. So this one Defend them from the final assault. It's very easy. You just want to click on this guy. Well, I already did two ended stance before. But you just want to defend this section. This is where the enemies are going to come. And we pretty much just have to kill the enemies as they come. And once again, repair the barricades as needed. I don't think they really target the barricades in this one very much. It's mostly just that you want to kill them as soon as they pop up. So any second now. They give you some time to get over here, but obviously I was already over here, so I didn't really have much walking to do. Um, and the main thing is I think the last wave will have like maybe two trolls in it. You just have to kill trolls as they spawn. side quests to do. Uh, gambling side both side or gambling side both side quests are pretty easy. But on Gimli's the spiders is a little bit tricky to get platinum with. And then there's also another side quest at the end that's not the one that I just got obviously. That is a little bit tricky to do. It's easy but it requires a lot of dismantling. Which so you in order to do that side quest, you really need at least like three, if not four, points in the uh, dis dismantle or disable. I think it's disable. Yeah. Because there's a lot of like traps and things that you have to disable in order to 
get platinum with it. But aside from that, it just requires you to like have combat, like what I'm doing now. Most of this battle is combat based, it's not really very much reliant on officer or engineer at all. So, as long as you can kill enemies pretty, uh, pretty well, then you should be good with it. Prioritize the trolls. They mostly charge towards you. Honestly, we can even have this guy target the trolls, I think. Uh, or maybe not. So there's gold, so we'll probably have one or two more trolls after. Yeah, here they come. Oh no, they do just kind of stay there. The civilians have been saved. There we go. And we got the Platinum Epic Reward, so I'll show you what that is. That's this Platinum Stars Merit Box, which gives like 50 stars or something in total. Um, and then of course we got Platinum on all three side quests there. So as long as the banners survive, which that side didn't have any troubles with the banners. So I'm just going to check this side as well. Yeah, these banners aren't even close to being dead. So. Now we pretty much have to wait for the rest of the enemies to die. We're very close to getting platinum with it, so. Pretty much just wait. These enemies coming one by one are not standing any chance because of how many soldiers there are. So I will just wait this, uh, wait the battle out. Shouldn't be too much longer. As for the points, you should be getting points from the battles themselves, but I think there might be a maximum amount of points that you can obtain from each battle. Because I don't seem to really get any points from the Helm's Deep battles anymore, I'm not sure why. Maybe it's because I'm too high of a level or something. But I get, the, I get points from the Gondor battles, it might be because I'm too high of a level. Alright, so I don't think there's any more enemies, which means the battle should be ending here in a second. I'm not sure why I get really slow at certain areas. And the, uh, the little war table thing is over here, so I'll just wait for the little quest thing to pop up, and then I will just right-click right on the table there, as soon as it pops up. It's quite an interesting looking cave here though. Any second now. There's the pop-up, so we finished it. You can see we got the platinum reward there. We'll go ahead and teleport out since we can. This 
So that one is probably like the easiest battle or the one that requires the least amount of promotion points to get platinum with it. But it does take uh, a little bit of effort on some of the other battles or some of the other side quests, which I obviously didn't get. I got all of the super easy ones, just my luck. Um, the next one I will try to get platinum on the Hornberg. I'll show my strategies and my general, like I said, I've only com I've only actually done this battle like two or three times, so I haven't completed every side quest yet, um, but I will basically just show you the general gist of it, and uh, hopefully I can get platinum. If I can't, then, well, it's difficult to get platinum is all I'll say, but I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.